The single most bone crushing sentences. 160 years, 200 years, 1,000 years. We all thought it was a joke. It's basically a life sentence. Do I deserve to die in prison? I'm proud to be a lawyer, proud to be a former prosecutor, proud to be a former judge. The Holloway Project had its origins back in the summer of 2016. The firm asked me if there was something that I thought the firm could do concretely to combat the effects of racial disparities in our justice system. On the spot, knew we would create the Holloway Project. I was a brand new judge, and the case U.S. versus Francois Holloway was assigned to me. When someone commits a robbery with a gun, the prosecutor can bring a separate charge under 18 U.S.C. 924C that at the time carried the cruelest mandatory sentencing provision. He faced more than 50 years that I had no choice but to impose. So it seemed to me that that would be the focus of the Holloway Project. My name is Marisa Taney. I came to Debevoise because it was clear to me they really cared about social and criminal justice issues. I am continually impressed by the amount of resources and support that they provide to the project in doing this critically important work that we're doing. People like Todd and Kevin, who did not have any prior criminal history, they were first-time offenders. These 924C sentences, these gun sentences, were never intended to be enhanced on a first offense. I had a scholarship to college. Things just got hard. I've lost my job, I'm on the verge of losing our house. I went to my old stomping grounds and met up with some old guys in. The rest is history. I had no understanding of what the federal system was like. Because I refused to accept the plea, the prosecutor told me, we're gonna make sure that you get two more 924 Cs. You're never going home. It was very despairing. It's either going to make you want to kill yourself, it's either going to drive you crazy, or you're going to fall in love with yourself. Me, I chose to love myself. When I was arrested and convicted, I was devastated for real. My parents didn't raise me to do anything unlawful. You might be with the wrong crowd, and you might not even realize you're with the wrong crowd. They offered me 14 years in the plea, and because I didn't understand 924C, the stacking sentence. I missed everything while I was in prison especially my parents, you know what I mean? Holidays and Christmas, you know, Thanksgiving, funerals. Those are hard times right there, those are hard times. I grabbed the Bible. Man, that was my foundation. I wasn't gonna give up. And so we now had this firm statement from Congress saying you are not supposed to be enhancing people on a first offense. I pulled this statute book down off the shelf. My reaction was, holy tamale, we've got an avenue for relief for our Holloway Project clients. Now we could do what we were in the business of doing. We would litigate it and we would win it. So it was a fundamental turning point in the Holloway Project. Kevin Haynes served almost three decades in prison. One of the most remarkable things to me about Kevin is that he doesn't have a chip on his shoulder about anything that happened to him. And they told me, we're going to be your lawyers until we get you out of prison. 
it was like the whole universe was lifted up off my shoulder. But when I fixed that big cup of coffee and I sat out on that step at three o'clock in the morning watching the sun, that's when I said, you're free. Todd is somebody who was just so humble throughout the entire process, who had taken hundreds of hours of courses, had seized every opportunity to use BOP programming. That matters to judges a lot. And just having somebody like Galisa on my case, I, I just knew it was a W. This is what I need. To walk out of prison without handcuffs. I never knew when that day was going to come. It was, it was definitely overwhelming. Man, Judge Gleason, uh, Marissa, I'm truly indebted for the rest of my life. They right here, they're the reason I'm free. These gentlemen did not need to sit in prison for another two, three decades. And so as Judge Gleason is fond of saying, it was a good day for justice.